So our acts, which of the following the next you expect? So we're looking for expected finding. A three-year-old was seen in the emergency room. So the case is in the ED, emergency room, for projectile vomiting. So he's having projectile vomiting for two weeks, okay? A pyloric stenosis was diagnosed. So we already know it's a pyloric stenosis. Which of the following is suspected? So I've had my buzzwords. I see pyloric stenosis. I see vomiting for two weeks. Which one is expected? So pyloric stenosis, two weeks vomit, expected finding. That's all. All these long sentences doesn't matter. So I'm looking for something that has something to do with pyloric stenosis and then patient is vomiting. So I come back here and I say, okay, palpable mass on the right of the umbilicus. Yes, this is the what we call olive shape mass, and it should be on the right side. It's not the sausage one for interception. So this is consistent with that. Distended abdomen. Remember, they have obstruction at the pylori. So if this is the stomach, okay, they obstructed at this area because of the pylori. So when you eat, it doesn't go and they vomit everything out. You don't expect these kids to have a distended abdomen. So the abdomen will be flat, scaffold abdomen. So this is not right. Hematocrit of 60%. Remember the kid has been vomiting for two weeks, losing a lot of fluid. His biggest problem with pyloric stenosis is dehydration. And how would this present as dehydration? They will lose a lot of fluid, so the blood will be concentrated. We can have hemoglobin of cystic which is equivalent to polycythemia vera. So this is consistent with the disease. Hypokalemia. This is um, consistent with the disease because when they're vomiting, they're vomiting an acid, okay, which is sodium chloride. So they've lost a lot of sodium. Okay, but then the body will say, I need to get the sodium back. So it, it go to the kidney and the kidney exchange potassium with sodium. So they become hypokalemic. Even though sodium is low, we still want to um, improve it and we get rid of potassium. And so this is consistent. They have metabolic alkalosis. They're getting rid of acid. When you get rid of acid, you lose the H plus and your bicarb increases. High level of bicarb is metabolic alkalosis. Bilious emesis, as I, I've drawn it, this is the beginning of the small bowel. Bowel is here, B-I-L-E. This is the beginning of where you see green stuff coming up. The pylorus, there's no bowel can go because it's blocked. Therefore, everything the kid vomit is non bilious. Whatever he eats will come up. So this is wrong. So we have three, four, five. 